we are going to learn about niacin or nicotinic acid also known as vitamin B3. Niacin is a water soluble vitamin. There are two biologically active coenzyme forms of niacin which are nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. The biochemical function of these coenzymes that is NAD and NADP is that they are involved in variety of oxidation reduction reactions. They undergo reduction by accepting a hydrogen ion. The reaction is reversed when NADH and NADPH are oxidized. This reaction is very significant in carbohydrate, protein and lipid metabolism. Coming to the clinical indications, the deficiency of niacin causes a condition called plagra. Plagra involves skin, gastrointestinal tract and central nervous system. The symptoms of plagra progress through three Ds which are dermatitis usually in the areas of skin that are exposed to sunlight. Diarrhea in the form of loose stools, often with blood and mucus. And the third D is for dementia, which is associated with degeneration of nervous tissue. If this condition stays untreated, it may lead to death. Coming to the therapeutic uses of niacin, it is used in the treatment of type 2b hyperlipoproteinemia in which both very low density lipoprotein and low density lipoprotein are elevated. The mechanism of this therapy is that niacin inhibits lipolysis in adipose tissues decreasing the circulatory free fatty acids. The liver normally uses these circulatory free fatty acids as a precursor for triacyl glycerol synthesis. Thus, niacin causes a decrease in liver triacyl glycerol, which is required for VLDL production, and the LDL is derived from VLDL in plasma. Both of these cholesterol rich lipoproteins are reduced in concentration when niacin is given at the dose of 1.5 gram per day.